No one's gone yeah. to Hock Hock. Hotch Hotch. Hotch Hotch, big gosh. Hotch Hotch. That almost looks like a organic chemistry thing. Hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, hydrogen. <laughs> <laughs> um, another hour passes. Uh, you've seen a couple of people wandering uh, the road directly to our east, kind of glancing over at the trees as they walk by where you guys are sleeping, or we're sleeping. Uh, Muriel is still not awake. I'll try again to wake her up. She goes, No care away. I already gave you sweet loving last night. <laughs> <laughs> Hour passes. Muriel, your eyes spring awake. Just my eyes. Um Good morning, sleepy. Yeah. I kinda blink and shake my head and say, wow, what was in those drinks? Let's say, uh, you feel quite hung over, Chris. Um, until I tell you otherwise, you have minus two to hit. Alright. Which gives me a total of plus one to hit with my sword and zero to hit with my bow. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I'm going to drink a bunch of water. Okay. And um, pack up my uh, blanket and other stuff. And make sure my weapons are in order. I will fill him in with last night's activities while he was sleeping. <laughs> Boring movie. Do you have any response to that? Um... Well, I'm still kind of clearing the cobwebs, but well, so what do you guys think we should do? March back in there and demand an explanation from the innkeeper? It worked so well at the guardhouse. Yeah, but they had guards. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea to continue to, to be in that particular confined space. We only saw a small part of the inn. Who knows what's behind some of those doors or other secret doors that we can't see. Well, we could explore other parts of the village. Maybe we should try to talk to some of the other villagers. Let's go see if we can identify the constable. Oh. Did, did any of the buildings we see last night look look official like a jail or a city uh, hall or a town hall or anything just make sure I'm not wrong nothing nothing that you guys have seen I mean you've only been like you haven't even really walked around the village you've just been here to here to here and now here. Okay. Well, we could go across that bridge and see what's north. Might be more village up there. Is that what you guys want to do? Yeah, sure. I mean, getting a better layout of the, the land and the feel for you know, the varying types and state of the buildings around here might be helpful. Okay, so you head back over, cross the bridge. Uh, let me see. To your left here, uh, you see just a grove of stately needle trees, pines, I mean elms. The narrow trail 
winds among the p majestic elm trees, at times disappearing into thick shrubbery. The bushes between the trees are dense, rising to a height of eight or ten feet, and the elms th themselves that you see to your left are, are almost seventy-five feet tall, and they are the only trees here. They are widely spaced, allowing much sunlight to pour between their ancient boughs. So that's what you see there. Keep going. Or head in. What's the building right there to our right? Uh, right now you see scenic backside of building. <laughs> okay. Mm, backside. Alright, yeah. Well, let's keep going. Mm. We Hang a right. To your left, you're going to see two small children playing in the yard of this farmhouse. Uh, but at the sight of you guys walking up, they immediately run for the house. The building looks solidly constructed, though, and has been recently whitewashed. The barn is a clean structure, though not painted, and several goats wander around in a small corral. A pen housing an immense pig. Is just visible south of the barn. To good, your... thing da good thing Dagnir's already eaten. Right. <laughs> to your right, you're going to see a large, colorful iPad locking. Hold on. You're going to see a large, colorful sign picturing a red dragon with its head resting contentedly on its paws. A plume of smoke rises from the serpent's nose and its eyes are closed. The sin is smaller and older than the golden. So, this inn is smaller and older than the golden grain, the one that we just stayed at, but several beds of flowers uh, brighten up the front, and there's a large middle-aged woman sweeping the porch. She looks really cheerful, and she actually greets us with a friendly little wave when we come by. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I've been better. <laughs> you look the like eight. you had a rough night. Yeah. You were a bit restless. Uh, me and the ale at the Golden Grain had a little uh, disagreement, but I'm okay now. Hi. Um. Well, come in. Have some have some peas porridge for breakfast. Well, actually, good lady, we're looking for the constable. Do you think you could tell us where he is? Oh, the constable? He lives just to the south of here. It's His house, uh, interestingly enough, has a number two on the door. <laughs> you sure you don't want some breakfast? She bustles down the front porch steps. Come in, come in, come eat! <laughs> Almost against your own will, this strong-willed woman bustles you inside of the inn. I would love to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Dang you too. Have you ever met a 60-year-old woman who wants to feed you breakfast? <laughs> Are you guys going to go in with her? You don't have to. Yeah, I'll follow her in. Sure. Oh. Okay. I, I guess. Okay, where did I leave all of our tokens on this particular layer? Here it is. So the, she's indicating the constable's in the house number two yes. way down there? Correct. Okay. I was expecting it to be 26, and she said, you know, just south of here. But it's not really south, I guess. I see where I dropped you. We're going to 
going to be to down from the old inn. Yeah, I found it. Okay, I see it. Okay. Um, hold on a second here. Let me get a quick read. Uh, you're going to see there's about five other people here uh, kind of eating breakfast. Uh, kind of. Uh, this place almost feels boisterous. There's three fireplaces in this main room uh, making it feel very warm. The customers are all talking to each other and greet... Uh, Belva as she walks in with you guys and Belva smiles and waves back at him. Uh, Belva? Belva. B-E-L-V-A? B-E-L-B-A. That was my great grandmother's name. Oh. Uh, let me see. Then from behind the, the bar, a gentleman goes up. Oh, welcome! Welcome to the Slumbering Serpent! I'm Olwen! What was his name? Olwyn. O-I-L-W-I-N. O-O-L-L-W-I-N. Olwyn Kraloon. And so... You see uh, Velva scuffles off to the kitchen to go get you some wine. Uh, Not wine. To get you some some (laughs) porridge. Laced with only a few minute traces of LSD. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get a token in for Belba here. <laughs> and I'm going to ask for a large pitcher of water, too. Sure. She comes back out. All right, here you go, and puts four steaming bowls of porridge. What can I get you guys to drink? A large pitcher of water. All right. How about you? What's your name again? Is she gesturing to anyone specific? Um, hold on. I always try to ping <laughs> with the right click. Oh, um, water sounds fine. My name is Thadron. Thanks. Oh, hi, Thadron. Belba, Belba, good to meet you. Good to meet you. What Likewise. about you, tall one? Water's just fine for me, thank you. Water, water, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you, sir. Alistair. Alistair Beltorn. Pleased to meet a woman of your striking beauty and countenance. Oh, you flatter me! You flatter me! What can I get you to drink? Uh, what do you have? What do you have in a red? Oh, red! You, oh, oh, and then uh, Olwen cheer, goes up. What you want wine? We have the best wine. This side of the Greyhawk part of Mysteria. <laughs> Let me let me get you let me get you one for on, on the house. Hold on, and he scuttles down the stairs. I'll be back with your waters. I lean over to Ilara and say, "Whisper, didn't we hear a rumor that the water was drugged with poison or poisoned with drugs or something?" Only the slightest traces of LSD. Indeed. Yeah, we did hear that there was something in the water. There. Uh, Olwen's gonna be a ninja. There we go. <laughs> Hold on. Yes. I'm trying to assign names to these tokens so I don't lose track later. Nolan's trying to turn this into a funny cat video. <laughs> Hi, Logan. Meow. Woof, woof. Should I call Toby in? My point cat. To at him and see if Logan freaks out again. My cat would murder me. Look how angry he looks. <laughs> he is not a happy kitty. Quite angry. 
Uh, back to roll 20. Uh, <laughs> she returns with your waters and serves them to you. He returns with a glass of wine for Alistair. Now he's just trying to eat your neck. Oh, you're talking about the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Alistair, I got wine. Apparently <laughs> there's bath salts in the wine. The wine of the living dead. <laughs> Alistair um, takes a sip and then declares, this is the best wine I've ever tasted. Didn't know you were such a connoisseur, Alistair. I am a wine snob. Do you have a problem with that? Not at all. But it explains a lot. I'm going to sniff both the water and the porridge and see if there's anything peculiar about them. You don't smell anything unusual. Alright, well, I'm going to drink the water and take a couple spoonfuls of the porridge. Okay. Good. Delicious. Porridge is good. The water is watery. Wet. Wet. everyone eating and drinking? Actually, Miss Spelba, I have actually changed my mind, and I will have a glass of wine as well. Ah! Oh. And again, Olwen's going to go, great! And run off to his cellar. Short amount of time later, return to the wine. Here you go! Enjoy! Enjoy! Thank From you very much. my very own vineyard. Belbo's going to ask, so, have you guys come to see the temple? You guys have a temple? <laughs> well, yes, you guys saw it on the way into town. Oh, I must not yeah. have been listening. Yeah, he mentioned a temple. I was... Yeah, it was in the... Yeah. It was Sorry. in the description, but I haven't figured out where it is in the village yet. You haven't heard of the temple? The temple of Mareka? The Archangel of the Harvest? I thought the Morocco no, was a. I'm unfamiliar legend. with it. Marika. Did I say it, Morocco? Marika. I guess it's Marika. M E R I K K A. Marika. Marika. Temple of Marika. <laughs> <laughs> the Archangel's given a special blessing to our village. The crops grow two, three times as big as other places here. It's amazing. Our grapes are huge. Big tracts of land, too. Huge tracts of land. Well, we did see that gigantic pig. Don't talk about Muriel that way. <laughs> I was thinking, is Ilera originally from this village? <laughs> no, I am not. The temple is beautiful. You must go see it. Well, maybe we'll see it after we uh, talk to the constable. Okay. Um, whereabouts is it? Uh, I think it's just north of town. Hold on. I don't think it shows up on the actual map. Oh no! Yeah, it's it's uh. Hold on. Let me let me switch back to the village. Um, if you look toward the top right, is it guess 21? what the temple is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is it that temple-y looking thing? It is. Surrounded by the needle trees. Mm -hmm. Circular needle trees. Well, I'm going to finish my porridge and my water, and then I'm going to just step over the doorway and check on Dagnir. Devin, roll D100. This is also the best wine you've ever tasted. This is the best wine I have ever tasted. 
Is it the only wine you've ever tasted? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, and thank you for the wine. It was fantastic. You're very welcome. Very welcome. Do you guys need a place to sleep this evening? We may. We'll come back if we do. Excellent, excellent. Make sure you let me know early so I can hold a room. Well, I'm going to go ahead and walk out and check on Dagnir, so I'm out of the room. Okay, Dagnir's fine. I'm going to enjoy the sun and cool breeze with my hangover. (laughs) (laughs) Fresh air. Druidia. Canned air. There's no air shortage on planet space ball. (laughs) Perry air. She doesn't even look druish. I'm out of the room, guys. What are you guys doing? <laughs> so, Belvin, do you ever hear any complaints about uh, the other inn in town? Murmurings of people disappearing? Anything like that? <laughs> you least subtle <laughs> in the history of the universe. Barge up, <laughs> knock on doors. <laughs> So, there been any kidnappings in that? <laughs> Nolan, seen what's your any charisma? Oh, it's ten. Yeah. Uh. Indeed. Uh, hold on. Uh, Mine is only eight. Mine's thirteen, but I have a minus two reaction for my kit. So, 